Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Um, I've been MIA for a few months now, so I am finally moved into my new place in Colorado, and I thought, well, why not do a makeup tutorial? Um, with one of the palettes that I got for Christmas by my husband, I got the Tartlet uh, Toasted Palette. I used it once before, I think I've used it like once or twice, um, and I really like it, so I wanted to go ahead and share a look. Today we're trying to achieve a got some fuzz a halo look um but we'll see how this goes maybe we won't do halo maybe we'll do like half cut crease we're just gonna go with it okay okay i already did my eyebrows um i'll have to do an updated eyebrow routine because i don't think i have you ever done an eyebrow routine i don't know but we'll have to do one eventually because i do them a little differently um even though they kind of look the same and they've definitely thinned out since my last videos uh but yeah let's go ahead and get started yeah, and let's not mind the hair, please. It's, we'll do something about it in a minute. Yeah, life has been pretty hectic the past few months, which is why I've been so MIA. My husband and I both got orders to Colorado, so we finally moved here and we're all settled in in our cute new apartment and I love it already. But, okay. Yeah, it's a little dusty, which I read reviews that this is a little dusty, but I haven't had any issues. So first things first, I'm going to go in with warmth, and I'm just going to use that as my transition color. I don't know, I just feel like these orange tones are just for me in the transition. And remember, this can be a little messy. Does it matter? But yeah, um, about Colorado, I like it so far. Um, the mountains, the view is just beautiful. My job looks a little different than my old one, but I mean, of course, that's expected. Um, there's a lot to do here too. There, it's a lot of like outdoor stuff along with shopping areas. So I'm excited. I have yet to go shopping just because we've spent so much money fixing up our new place we got some brand new furniture um, I'll have to do like an apartment tour one day that'd be cute right mm -hmm. and if you hear any drilling um, it's outside like right outside of my windows because when we got here didn't realize that the apartment complex was still under construction um, so yeah, it has its good and bad. That means that everything we have is like brand spanking new, like all the appliances. So that's a plus, um, but it also means that we're like the first to find any issues that they had. So that kind of sucks. And our gym isn't up yet, but when it is, it better be bomb. Our apartment's like right outside the gym. like. Are the gym's like on the second floor and you can see from our balcony you can see the second floor on the gym and we also have like a pool view which I don't know how I feel about that I don't really like to watch people at the pool if you know what I mean all right next I'm gonna go in with cozy this is just a darker brown we're gonna apply it on the outer corner just concentrate that try not to take it up too high just yet pack it on and then sort of blend it up into warmth do the same thing on the other side. I like to do both. Sometimes I like to do one eye first, but right now, just so that I try to keep it as even as possible, I'm gonna go ahead and do one eye and then the other. Colorado, it's definitely different from Georgia. It's dry, like my skin has been acting up. Um, and normally I have like oily, as skin but I feel like here it's really been drying up so that kind of sucks and my nose on the inside it's very dry so we're gonna grab cozy and just place it on the inside corner again uh, yeah so my nose has been dry so it's kind of like bleeding on the inside um, good thing I have some like saline mist I'm constantly like <laughs> Uh, but I don't care, my nose burns, it gets so dry. We haven't gone out to do much. Um, we did go to the Garden of the Gods, and we've also done the Manitou 
incline, which was like a killer. I stopped working out a few months ago just because everything got so crazy and I already took my PT test. We're just going back and packing this over just to darken that color a little more. Um, so yeah, I hadn't been really working out a lot and we went ahead and tried the incline. And I swear, like, before, initially before going, my husband was like, you know, it's okay if you don't get all the way up there. And I'm like, don't talk to me like that. Like, why would you even say that? If anything, I'm going to make it up and you're not. Um, because I just feel like, like I'm pretty resilient when it comes to, like, working out like that. So I'll push myself and I'll finish strong. But boy, was I wrong. Man, I wasn't even... Like, we hadn't even gotten to the steps, and I was already out of breath. My heart was beating out of my chest. It was bad. And, um, because you have to, like, go up a hill. All right, so now I'm going to go in with Fireside, same brush, and I'm going to apply it in the same areas. So, yeah, I was out of breath, wasn't even to the stairs yet, and I was like, this is not going to be fun. And... I'm thinking like, oh my God, these steps are gonna be like, like a staircase. No, man, some steps are like little, some steps are big. There's like sand and pebbles all over them. So you're like slipping and sliding all over the place. So I don't know what's happened to me, but ever since I've gotten older, I've kind of became a little more of a scaredy cat per se. Um, I think it started when I was like in maybe like, Maybe my senior year of high school or no I think it was when I was about like 19 years old like a year after graduating um I was so scared we went to a water park and I remember going up the rails like it was just like you would just walk up the incline it, it wasn't steps and we were wet so I was scared that I was gonna slip off and slide through the craft because it's just like like a side rail um, and I was like oh my god I'm gonna slip because I'm wet and I'm gonna fall down and I'm gonna like crack my head open on the concrete and die like these are just things that I think about on my own why I don't even know so I was scared that I was going to slip fall down and like break my jaw or just keep going all the way down the steps thankfully that wasn't the case but whatever 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 um, point is I would walk I would go up the stairs for like 30 seconds and then break go up the stairs for 30 seconds more and then break again it was my husband and two of his friends and oh my god it was it was bad we got to the halfway point we were supposed to wait for somebody else to arrive to make it up halfway um, but I was like you know what like I'm getting cold it was cold but then it was hot but I was getting hot because I was just sitting there so I was like, I'm going to go ahead and go because I know y'all are about to pass me when we go up. Um, so now I'm going to just grab a smaller brush, a more like pointy brush. And I'm going to pick up some of Warmth, the transition color, just to kind of blend everything at the top. So um, I went ahead and got like a head start because I knew they were going to pass me eventually. Um, and I put my headphones in because I didn't have my headphones in before I was just talking to my husband telling him how much I just wanted to turn around um, but after that I was doing surprisingly really good I wasn't stopping minimally I kind of got like I found my own routine on how to do it um, and it ended up working I got up the second half a lot quicker than I did from the very bottom to the midpoint so that was cool the view on top honestly though was a t it was amazing is it worth all the steps? Man, I don't know about that. Because everyone's like, oh my god, it's so worth it. Because that shit hurt. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to grab my concealer and I'm just going to clean up the center. Carve out the halo that we want to do. Just so that that color can pop. It'll do. <laughs> if I keep throwing concealer on, I'm going to like just put concealer all over my lid. Okay, so before I keep my store going... I'm going to go ahead and pick up Flame because that's such a gorgeous like red color. Mm, so yeah, it was more brown than red. Sorry guys. And just apply it right over the concealer. 
and I didn't set the concealer because this will set it and it'll also help the color pop out a little more. And then here you can also carve out the shape that you want. We're gonna blend it in a little bit anyway, so don't worry about that. Um, yeah, so we took the trail down, um, and it's like, I think it's a three mile trail. Took us a good 25 minute, I wouldn't say walk, and I wouldn't say jog, because I'm thinking, oh my gosh, this trail, like, I could just jog it down. Easy money. It's gonna be like, you know, like concrete or road, and it's gonna have rails. It's gonna have a nice view. No, I was wrong. This is like in the middle of the mountain, and you're just doing a whole bunch of loops, like turn and turn, and it's sandy and rocky, and I about tripped 30 times, and I'm like, when are we gonna get to the halfway point? Like, gosh, we're not even halfway there. So I was really, my knees were starting to hurt. Like I was just, I was ready to just be done with it. I was starving. Um, yeah, I was just ready to get done. So finally we get to the midpoint and I'm like, look, I don't know if I can do this anymore. I think I'm just gonna take the damn stairs down. And they were like, are you sure? I was like, yeah, I, I think that's gonna be better for me because this shit feels never ending. So I took the stairs down and I still don't know what was a better choice because those stairs were scarier going down than they were going up. You're like looking down, so you're, you know, when you're going up, you're not supposed to look back so you're not scared. But here, I'm actually looking all the way down. And here, I'm sorry, I'm grabbing Cozy and I'm just kind of blending out the edges a little bit. So yeah, I'm going down and Freddie and I are holding each other's hands. Um, and once you start moving fast, it's kind of hard to break. So that's why we're holding hands. And we, we get like a, a routine going. All of a sudden, I slip. Thank God he's holding my hand so I didn't really bust my but all the way down just like two steps thankfully he was on the man because it didn't hurt but probably took us about maybe 10 maybe about 15 minutes to go down so that was not bad like at that point I was starving oh that's him hello hi I'm doing my makeup. What are you doing? Uh, yeah. Okay, where was I? Yeah, I was just done. I was ready to get down. I was starving, so it was worth it. Once we got to the end, we tried to stretch a little so that we weren't really burning. However, I don't know how much the stretching helped because we still felt pain the next day. So just to make this color pop a little more, Oh, I'm going to spray it with some Mario Badescu. Just spray it. And just place that on top. And do that again. Okay. There we go. So now I'm just going to coat my uh, lashes with some mascara and put my lashes on. And I'll be right back. So for my primer, I'm using the NYX just because it's so much like the Smashbox. Just a lot more affordable. And because I've been having such dry skin, I feel like it kind of smooths out all my problem areas. Um, just like where I'm like patchy. Because it has like that silicone-y feel to it. Oh gosh, I hate it when I do that and I scratch my eyebrows because primer could, might as well be a makeup remover, you know? And just a foundation that I discovered last year and I've been loving it is Maybelline Better Skin. Just because I feel like it's a little too dry. So first I'm gonna go in with a brush. Just gonna pick that up. Buff it in a little bit. 
yeah, so I'm excited overall to live here. Um, see how it goes, both job wise and just the town, you know? I'm not used to living in like a city like such. Where I grew up, it was a lot smaller. And I'm definitely not used to living by the mountains. It's gonna take some adjustment. But it's okay. That's why I don't mind the military. Like, that. whenever I feel like getting out, I'm just like, who else is gonna pay for me to move across the country and start, like, you know, already have a set job and, the, you know, you're getting paid to move during the move? I don't know, it's just... All these wonderful benefits that I have to think about whenever I'm, whenever I have like those shitty days that I just want to get out. Not to say that you know, I can't that, that you can't do that outside of the military, but I joined when I was 18, and it's it's all I know. And I worked at Olive Garden and Outback. Sometimes I wish I could get out and just be like full time makeup, but. I need the benefits. And I always told my husband, one of us is doing 20 years. I don't know who, but one of us. So if that's not me, buddy, you already know how long you gotta stay in. 20. Cause healthcare ain't no joke. I mean, what do I know? I've never had to pay out of pocket for it, but. But I can imagine that it's no joke. This foundation, it's a little thicker in consistency. It's not as watery. Um, almost, what is it? My NARS one, like suede, velvet, velvety. That's the word I'm looking for, suede. I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure everything it's blended in well. I'm gonna use my tart shape tape. Don't need a lot because it all goes a long way with this. Oh, wait. Mm. I don't even use it that much. It's probably like drying out. And then we're going with the Infallible, the Pro Glow Concealer. Just gonna go over all those areas. Waha. Wow. Icky. Uh, I'm gonna wet my face again. Just so the concealer blends out really good. It doesn't dry. I'm telling y'all, I never. I mean, never say never, but I never used to have really dry skin, and I feel like it's doing this to me. I'm having to like double moisturize, do a whole bunch of stuff I've never done. Like, I bought a moisturizing facial. They never do that. I always buy one to like get all the oils out, so it's different. I'm trying to drink more water because obviously I've been slacking in the gym, water, and eating healthy. But you gotta understand me. There's some rough months. I don't know what my sponge, I feel like it's drying up a little. But yeah, if you guys want to hear more about like my Air Force career, hit a sister up if you guys have any questions. Uh, you know and how the life is because I know when I Wanted to join I would sit on YouTube and just Google all about the Air Force and There were so many questions that I had that a lot of people weren't like answering like they weren't mentioning um, So let me know I'll be more than glad To do a Q&A on that I got a new powder. I really want to get the Patrick Star one. I've heard a lot of great things about it. But I got the Born This Way and I like it already. It's um, So I have the Airspun and then I have the Born This Way setting powder. This is a lot thicker like baby, like baby powder. 
Um, it smells good, but this powder is a lot more fine. Um, it almost reminds me of my Bare Minerals one, which is one of my favorite. I just don't use it as much because not a lot comes in the, in the, what do you call it? Tube, not tube, in the cup. So I don't like to waste it. I use it on like really special occasions, but I like the fine powder. I feel like it looks a lot more flawless. Um, what other powder is really fine? The uh, It Cosmetics one, but it's very white, so I was scared that it was, well, I read that it has a lot of flashback, so I kind of jumped away from that just because I was scared. Um, but I want to try it. But right now, I really want to do the Patrick Star one. He's amazing, so I would imagine that his products are just as well as good. Just set all the places that put concealer on. All right, now I'm gonna grab some face powder and just put it in the other areas that I didn't want to set with translucent. I feel so pale. It's alright. A key. Now to bronzing. Of course I wouldn't get all my stuff out before I start. So to bronze, I got this new bronzer. It's not it's new to me, it's not new. But it's the NARS in Laguna. And I like to mix it with this naked illuminated powder that I thought was supposed to be a highlight but watch to me that's like let's see if it focuses that's way too dark to be a highlight for me unless I'm like really really dark um, which I don't think I am right now so we're not gonna do that it was a very disappointing product but I found some use for it so I'm just going to grab like a normal fluffy brush, pick some Laguna up from NARS, and then pick up some of the Naked, is that Naked? Yeah, Urban Decay Illuminated. I'm just going to bronze my cheekbones. I'm going to keep dipping it there. And build it up. Give me some warmth. Where did I read about this? I think the girl at Sephora told me about the bronzer. She's a little um darker than I, so she mentioned a darker one. And then I went to Ulta because you know Ulta has NARS stuff too. And they happen to have this one. Which is a bit pricey, but honestly I love it. So I don't even mind it. I think it was like 40 something dollars, like 46 or 42. Which honestly, it's expensive. For me, <laughs> like if you got it like that, that's fine. But for me, it's expensive. I think I used my Ulta points just because I was like, really, I shouldn't have been buying makeup. What the hell did I just say? Buying, I shouldn't have been buying makeup. Like that's that's how much I didn't have it at the time. Um, but I did, so I used up my Ulta points. Still had to pay, or maybe I had a coupon. That's it. I'm done throwing in the white towel. I obviously can't talk. One of the two. Point is, I got it discounted. All right. So we're not gonna contour with that. I'm gonna contour with the, where is it? Somehow trying to squeeze it in here. So I grab it and then very gently so that you don't do a harsh line. And then you kind of push it up. I forgot who I learned this from. I don't know if it was on YouTube, but I... Was it from Jenny69 or Jacqueline Hill? I forget. I learned it from somebody because I think they said they learned it from somebody. contour the nose. I recently started using this one brush that I didn't know like what to use it for. It's just like angle angly shaped. 
and I'm going to pick some of the hula bronzer up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that. Sound like somebody came in here. I must have opened the door really loud somewhere else. So I made sure I got like the product all around the brush. So I'm going to start right here very lightly in the eyebrows and bring it in. said makeup over hair I'm gonna grab one of these and I'm just gonna pick up some loose powder and I'm gonna run it down the side just to carve that contour out As well just like so I'm gonna let that bake a little bit while that bakes I'm gonna grab some blush and this is a beach cosmetics blush palette got it when I was freelancing it has a lot of pretty colors but I'm gonna go with some orange tone so just apply it on the cheeks of our on the cheeks of our apples you know what I mean, apples over cheeks. And I'm just, I mix this one and this one. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I really like that color. Ooh! I know y'all could tell I went a little overboard on this side. Eat some kai. That's what we have blending brushes for. Well, now for highlight. Going in with my real tex techniques. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? I don't know why I didn't just have this out already, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna mix two things. I'm gonna grab Rodeo Drive by Ofra and then the Jaclyn Hill uh, with Becca, the Champagne Splits. I'm going to pick both up. Just going to go very lightly. Hmm. Nothing too strong yet. Okay, now I'm going to go with a fan brush, pick up Rodeo Drive, really coat it, two taps, spray it. And lay it down, baby. Hmm. Hmm, maybe I should wipe all this stuff off. Drive again. Hmm. Mm, I'm gonna use that one. We're gonna use this one because I wanna apply it just right here. And right here. Give us a little shine. Can you guys see it? No. Chin, make us look extra glowy. I'm just gonna keep spraying this. 
And then our Cupid's bow. And what I like to do is run it down these two lines. So I I really like accentuation. Beautiful. This is like a multi-use. I'm gonna grab Rodeo Drive again, just on the corners. I'm gonna apply it right here. look thank you guys so much for watching I'm sorry that it took months again I feel like a broken record but I'm so sorry that it took months again to get just one damn video uploaded um, regardless I had fun doing this and hopefully I can keep up the pace and keep trying to post some more videos um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I look forward to making some more don't forget to thumbs up, share, subscribe, do whatever you want, and throw me some suggestions. I'm open for it. Um, what kind of videos you want to watch. As always, um, just let me know. Bye.